More than 15,600 people each year are granted their wishes by the Make-A-Wish Foundation, according to their website. This year, one of those wishes was granted to someone right in our backyard. Jaron Spore has his story. In 2013, Charlie Hamilton gave birth to a six-pound, six-ounce baby boy named Cole. I was born early, um, but 35 weeks, okay, so he should have been fine. But when he was born, he wasn't fine, so he stayed in the NICU where he was put on a breathing machine. After being discharged, a couple of weeks later, Charlie knew something still wasn't right. He cried and cried and cried, which sometimes is normal for a baby, um, but it was a lot of crying. Um, and then we figured out that he was having seizures when he was not sleeping at night. After going to the pediatrician for their two-month visit, things got even worse. Our pediatrician was like, um, okay, he's not following because they do all those checks. So he wasn't following with his eyes, which is initially why we did a um, ultrasound of his brain. And then while we were there, they were like, they rushed out and they were like, you guys can't leave. So we knew something was wrong. We just didn't know what. That's when they received the devastating news. We did an MRI and it confirmed that he had a stroke. After receiving that diagnosis, the road to recovery would be a long and difficult one. Since he was born, we have been in and out of the hospital. Um, his stroke caused him to have other other issues, which we don't know if that's what caused the stroke or if the stroke caused these other issues. Um, he has high blood pressure. He takes four medications daily for that. Um, he has kidney issues, heart issues, lung issues. Um, so not only did he have a stroke now, he's literally being followed by lots of doctors. Through all of that, Cole and Charlie have remained strong. Then just last week came the surprise of a lifetime. Well, hopefully your wish has been granted by the Make-A-Wish Foundation. You're going to First of all, I didn't even know that Mickey Mouse was coming. And so when he arrived, I was wondering why he was calling my name down and stuff. Then he told our principal something. And they called me down. I was like scared for a second, but happy scared. Thanks to an anonymous nominator for the first time, Cole is getting to go to Disney World. And there are a couple of characters he's looking forward to seeing the most. Woody and Buzz. Having a stroke as a newborn is rare. In fact, according to Johns Hopkins, it happens to one in every 4,000 newborns. So if you or someone you know is going through something like this, Charlie has advice for the parents. I would just say to never give up and know that each day is probably in some way going to be a struggle, but you can get through it. As for the kids that are going through this, Cole has advice for you as well. I would tell him to be brave. Now that was Jaren Spore reporting. Now Cole was told he would never walk or talk again after his stroke, but of course, as you saw in that story, he's running and talking just fine. Cole and his family leave for Disney World on November 10th and should be coming back on November 15th. We of course hope they have a great time.